So over the last couple of weeks, we've been thinking about prayer and praying less. That is not praying less frequently, but stopping, slowing at that initial part of prayer where we consider God, who he is, what he's like, what he's done, and allowing that truth to overcome us, overwhelm us, and really for our prayers to be in a response to that. Now, a couple of people have commented to me that they found it hard, hard each and every day to come and to think, conceive, contemplate truth about God, different truth from day to day to day. And very often when we are sat, perhaps reading our Bibles as a source of finding truth about God, the passages our daily reading lead us into don't lend themselves into that sort of contemplative prayer, that responsive prayer about God, his character and his works. So this is what I've done. I've gone off and I've got us as a church a whole load of copies of this book, uh, Incomparable by Andrew Wilson. We had some fun over coffee yesterday, John, Paul and myself, trying to decide whether it is incomparable or incomparable. Um, more on that in a moment. But essentially this book is numerous, very short chapters, three, maximum four pages long, reflecting on some attribute of God, his nature, his character, so on and so forth. It's by Andrew Wilson, so this is a bit painful for me. Um, it's like giving away most of my source material. I've recommended Andrew Wilson books before, if any of you have read Echoes of Exodus. Uh, Andrew is the host of a conference I like to attend every sum summer. He's an incredibly wise, thoughtful guy, a tremendous writer as well. And I genuinely believe that this is the sort of book that we can use to, to receive truth, to fill our minds with the good news about who God is, to fuel our prayers, to begin our days, recentering, reorientating ourselves around the truth, and then praying out of that place of knowing who God is and who we are because of who he is. So, as I said, we've got loads of copies of this that are gonna be for sale in church very soon uh, for a reasonably nominal amount as well. We're talking sort of two pounds per book or something. That's the deal that we've got. But before we put them for sale, I wanted to have an opportunity to give a few of these away. So if you are someone who thinks that they will actually make use of it for that purpose, to read um, four pages every day, to, to be reminded of something true about God that is worth bathing in, that is worth dwelling in, that is worth just basking and soaking up as you start your day. If you think that you're the sort of person who's gonna use that and that it will help your prayer, then in the comments below, I just want you to write a comment about whether you think the book is called Incomparable or Incomparable. I'm not gonna tell you which of John or I thought it was one or the other, but everyone who kind of puts their hands up in the comment and says, yes, please, I would like a copy of, insert your way of saying it there, um, I'll just pick a couple of lucky winners and uh, give them out in the very near future. So watch this space, Incomparable is coming. Uh, it'd be great for as many people in church to make use of it as possible, but if you want it now for free, then please put a comment below. God bless.